eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, peace be with you. Welcome to the celebration this morning. We are gathered to pray for the deceased, the faithful, and we have to do this act because we love them and we want them to be closer to God. As we begin our celebration, let us acknowledge our sins and ask for God's forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I failed to do. To my fault, to my fault, to my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask at Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who willed that your only begotten Son, having conquered death, should pass over into the realm of heaven. Grant, we pray, to your departed servants that with the mortality of this life overcome, they may gaze eternally on you, their Creator and Redeemer, to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Job. Job answered those who reproached him. Oh, that my words were written down. Oh, that they were inscribed in a book. Oh, that with an iron pen and with lead they were engraved on a rock forever. For I know that my Redeemer lives, and that at the last he will stand upon the earth. And after my skin has been thus destroyed, then in my flesh I shall see God whom I shall see on my side, and my eyes shall behold, and not another. The Word of the Lord. Our response, the Lord is kind and merciful. The Lord is kind and merciful. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger, and abounding in steadfast love. He does not deal with us according to our sins, nor repay us according to our iniquities. The Lord is kind and merciful. As a father has compassion for his children, so the Lord has compassion for those who fear him. For he knows how we were made. He remembers that we are dust. The Lord is kind and merciful. As for mortals, their days are like grass. They flourish like a flower of the field, for the wind passes over it, and it is gone, and its place knows it no more. The Lord is kind and merciful. But the steadfast love of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting on those who fear him, and his righteousness to children's children, to those who keep his covenant, and remember to do his commandments. The Lord is kind and merciful. A reading from the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians. Christ has raised from the dead the first fruits of those who have died. For since death came through a human being, 
The resurrection of the dead has also come through a human being. For as all die in Adam, so all will be made alive in Christ. But each in his own order. Christ the first fruits, then at his coming, those who belong to Christ. The word of the Lord. you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Very truly I tell you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains just a single grain. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. Those who love their life lose it, and those who hate their lives in this world will keep it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, there will, be, there will my servant be also. Whoever serves me, the Father will honor the gospel of the Lord. So, like I said at the beginning of the Mass, uh, yesterday was the face of all the saints, those who are in heaven enjoying the vision of God and the, the, the true happiness for which we have been created. And uh, today we begin to pray for the deceased people. We know that uh, at the end of our lives uh, we are all sinners and sometimes uh, sins uh, is always as left his, his, his path in our souls and we need to be purified. Uh, like during the night we don't see the colors, we don't see uh, with the, the difference between a dog and a wolf, but when the light comes we can see the flowers, we can see the difference between uh, beings and, and, and so on. And so, and when we are in the presence of God, His light is so uh, strong that we will see all our selfishness, all our sins uh, encrusted in, in, in our souls. And we need to be purified from that. And this, that's the, the church calls the, the purgatory. And we pray for the people who are there because they need our prayers. And we know that they are preparing to see God uh, face to face. But meanwhile, they have to, to be uh, purified. And, and the Mass is the perfect offering we, we can give for that because we, we pour them in the, the blood of Christ and we ask Christ to purify their souls. And it is the g greatest gift that we can give to uh, a deceased people. Sometimes we, we want, we go to the cemetery. It's a good thing, of course, to go to the cemetery, to pray there. Sometimes we put flowers. It's also a good, a good practice. But, to offer Mass is the best one because it's the sacrifice of Christ that is offered for this soul. And this morning we are gathered to uh, remember those <clears throat> who had their funerals in this church uh, last, uh, the, in this year. And it's the, <clears throat> it's for us, it's a sign that we believe that we can live with God forever. When we die, we subsist like as human beings. Everybody will keep his own personality. Everybody keeps his soul and at the resurrection also the body. But we are uh, united living in God. And this is very important because every human being is called to live with God and Christ is the, the, the way for that. And when we uh, are gathered around him, we know that he can bring his life to these people. And like he said in the Gospel this morning, I tell you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, 
It remains just a single grain, but if it dies, it bears more fruit, uh, much fruit. And this is the life of Jesus. He came into in our world, he gave his life, and through him we can achieve the eternal life. It's the only way. He is the, well, like we say, <clears throat> like he said in the gospel, I am the way, the life, and the truth. And so we, we follow him because we know that through his resurrection, what he, we see, we know that what he said was true because God, his father, gave him a life. And so this morning I, I will invite uh, somebody to read the name of the people we are praying for and uh, we light the candles that we will stay uh, in front of the altar during our prayer this morning. Wilford Wilson. Victor Power. Sean Donovan. Branka Spihart, Meryl Goche, Clarence Scott, Michael Landers, Jacqueline Lozier. Albert Biancourt, John Scott, Jacinth Scott, please stand for the prayer of the faithful. For all Christians, let us present to the Lord our petitions this morning. For all Christians, that in this world they may bear witness to their faith in the resurrection, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who suffer in soul or body, that God may give them light and strength in their trials. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the deceased, that God may welcome as his children those whom Christ has redeemed with his blood. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Lord may admit them into his paradise, into the place of rest, light, and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that the God of all consolation may accompany with his presence and love those who mourn the death of a loved one. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Most Holy Father, accept the prayers we offer for our deceased sisters and brothers. May the hope of the resurrection illuminate our path through Christ our Lord. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and works of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life.
Blessed are you, Lord of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and works of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. <clears throat> Almighty and merciful God, by means of these sacrificial offerings, wash away, we pray, in the blood of Christ, the sins of your departed servants. For you purify incessantly by your merciful forgiveness those you once cleansed in the waters of baptism through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In Him, the hope of the blessed resurrection has dawned, that those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as we thought and we acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabaoth, Plenis Unceli et Terra, Gloria Tua, Hosanna in Excelsis, Benedictus, Qui Venit in Nomine Domini, Hosanna, in excelsis. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For to your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts that brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith we proclaim. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your Church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death your will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal dwelling offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Anthony of Padua, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Pope Francis and myself, your humble servant, the other of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gathered, gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered to all the world. Remember your servant for whom you pray especially this morning, whom you have called to you from this world to yourself. Grant that they who were united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection, when from the earth he will rise up in the flesh those who have died and transform our lowly body after the pattern of his own glorious body to our departed brothers and sisters to and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life. Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory when you will wipe away every tear from our eyes. For seeing you, our God, as you are, we shall be like you for all the ages and praise you without end through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. So in union with our brothers and sisters who are in the presence of God and those who are waiting for that, we can say together, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. To suffer a sign of peace. Agnus Dei, cui tollis peccata mundi, misere nobis. Agnus Dei, cui tollis peccata mundi, misere nobis. Agnus Dei, cui tollis peccata mundi, Dona nobis pace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Communion at the pond. Let the virtual light shine upon them, O Lord, with your saints forever, for you are merciful.
As a thanksgiving prayer, we can say together the psalm on page uh, 43 of your uh, Living in Christ, 43. I love you, O Lord, my strength. Together, the Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. My God, my rock, in whom I take refuge, my shield and the source of my salvation, my stronghold. I call upon the Lord, who is worthy to be praised, so I shall be saved from my enemies. From his temple he heard my voice, and my cry to him reached his ears. The Lord lives, blessed be my rock, and exalted be the God of my salvation. Great triumphs he gives to his King and shows steadfast love to his anointed. So we can spend a few seconds in silence to tell the Lord how much we believe in him, who is our rock and our strength. Let us pray. Having received the sacrament of your only begotten Son, who was sacrificed for us and rose in glory, we humbly implore you, Lord, for your departed servants, that cleansed by the Paschal mysteries, they may glory in the gift of the resurrection to come through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May the God of all consolation bless you for his unfathomable goodness he created the human race and in the resurrection of his not only begotten Son he has given believers the hope of rising again. Amen. To us who are, all, who are alive, may God grant pardon for our sins and to all the dead a place of light and peace. So may we all live happily forever with Christ, whom we believe truly rose from the dead. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. And since today is Saturday, we can sing the, the Salve Regina, the Blessed Virgin. Salve Regina, Mater Misericordiae, Vita Dulce Do, et Spes Nostra Salve. Ad te clamamus, exules fili heve, ad te suspiramus, gementes et flentes, in ac lacrimarum valle. Eia ergo, advocata nostra, Illos tuos misericordes oculos ad nos converte.
Et Jésus, benedictum fructum ventris tui, nobis post hoc exilium ostende. O clemens, o pia, o o dulcis virgo Maria. Have a nice day.